Throughout history, people have searched for new materials using chemistry, physics, and engineering. Today, we live in a world infused with technology. From computers and smartphones to airplane design and healthcare, all of these advances have been possible because of our ability to discover the properties of materials in new ways. Understanding and creating new materials is at the forefront of tackling the challenges of the future. At Lockheed Martin, we try to use materials sciences in ways that benefit our customers. We might be looking for light but strong materials that would help us build better aircraft or for materials that would help us protect our spacecraft in harsh environments that are not on this planet. The primary difficulty in discovery of new materials and analysis of existing materials is the complexity of those systems and the computational muscle that would need to be brought to bear to analyze them completely. Physicists have long predicted the role of quantum computing in simulating new states of matter. The behaviors of materials are governed by the laws of quantum physics, and understanding the quantum nature of materials is key to finding novel ways of exploiting their properties for new technological advances. D-Wave has taken the significant step of demonstrating two separate examples of simulating quantum materials during phase transitions on a quantum computer. This experiment is really validating the original conception of, of uh, quantum computing, which was to simulate the physics of um, many body systems that are really difficult to simulate classically. Uh, and so I think a lot of people are going to be excited about this. What we've done is we've provided a, a quantum simulation of kind of a, a complex lattice of qubits or spins. And we're showing that we can program our computer to simulate this. And it's really fast. When we have this direct capability to do programmable experiments and to simulate this quantum piece of matter, we can pursue complicated simulations. We can seek to understand um, very complicated phenomena. I think this is the beginning of an era that quantum computers start helping us understand uh, materials and Hopefully in the future, they can, they can help us design new materials. And designing new materials could mean designing new drugs to cure cancer, or designing new materials for uh, batteries, uh, which are very important for, for, for future of our planet Earth. And in many other applications, they may help us. Personally, I'm excited about material simulation because it's a chance to poke nature in ways that we have not had a chance to do it before, right? I'm an engineer, but my, my inner physicist would love to uh, access the tiny pieces of the world and see how they're behaving and build up our simulations from first principles. Feynman's uh, original vision for quantum computing was based on the idea that we would want to use quantum computers as simulators for uh, very small systems that we have a very hard time simulating with classical means. And I think that this uh, experiment shows that we're on the verge of being able to do that. 